In the cytosol of a cell, the active glycogen synthase A binds to the active enzyme GSK3 and get phosphorylated to form inactive phosphorylated glycogen synthase B. But when the hormone insulin binds to the insulin receptor present in the plasma membrane of a cell, then a tyrosine protein kinase in the receptor is activated. The activated tyrosine protein kinase in the receptor then phosphorylates IRS1 in its tyrosine amino acid. The phosphorylated IRS1 then leaves the activated tyrosine protein kinase in the receptor. The phosphorylated tyrosine or phosphotyrosine in IRS1 then binds to an enzyme called as PI3K. The PI3K converts the PIP2 in the plasma membrane to PIP3. A protein kinase called as PDK1 then binds to the PIP3 and get activated. The active PDK1 then binds to the inactive PKB. The PKB is another protein kinase. This binding activates PKB. The active GSK3 then binds to the active PKB. The active PKB then phosphorylates active GSK3 in its pseudo substrate region. Due to this phosphorylation, the GSK3 becomes inactive. The phosphorylated inactive GSK3 then leaves the active PKB. This inactivation of GSK3 allows the inactive glycogen synthase B to bind to an enzyme called as PP1. The PP1 then catalyzes a dephosphorylation reaction in which the inactive glycogen synthase B is converted to active glycogen synthase A and 3PI. The active glycogen synthase A and 3PI are then released from the PP1. In this way, insulin stimulates glycogen synthesis. Please like, subscribe and share.